Might well, have a chance of screwing themselves both of these. Uh, bottom lane, yep, yeah, indeed they will. Some man grabs himself on for the Ursa and Fana on to the Alchemist as well, so. These are the small things, but nice little start there for uh, Liquid. As, uh, it looks like OG just weren't too content on, on trying to contest their level one. Yeah, they were hoping to secure themselves the top room. They're definitely very strong potentially at level one for, for the lineup of Liquid. And uh, interesting lanes at the moment. So it looks like, for, for to start at least, Liquid, they've got three heroes up there, uh, including the Starks here. And they want to zone right from the get-go. Jerx is in yeah. the side trees as well, though. And... There we go, rolling across. Let's see what oh. we can try and kick off there. Iron Shell gets laid down onto the creep. Just pushing in the lane. But uh, won't be able to find anything off the back of that. And I mean, are they going to keep these these two supports up here? Or do you think we'll just see uh, Liquid be very, very active across the map with these? I think they can deny a lot of XP and farm. They can contest the Joe's farm. They're going to get a side pull off on the big camp, which is going to be very disruptive for the OG trialing who wants to get XP up here. But good news for OG is they've dewatered their full camp, so they can kind of uh, do a little pull. Well, they tried next to stack this, which didn't work with the uh, Earth Spirit uh, coming in, so can be Liquid just kind of disrupting the lane equilibrium, getting the wave back to their tower for mind control to farm with. Um, and I guess the reason why they can do this is because of the uh, offlane faces void from the side of OG. Ursa, he's going to be relatively safe laning up against this, and just having that solo XP and solo farm is going to massively benefit the Tumba Man, who we already know, you know, this guy, if he gets a good start, he is going to be, um, you know, borderline unstoppable on this yeah. hero. Does mean you're giving Void, like, decent farm as well as yes. free XP out of the lane, so while it's a slightly Ursa favored matchup, Moon should be able to get some farm out of this. See on top, they're keeping on the pressure, Magic Missile rolling into the slow as well, Fly. Gonna be able to ward this off, but only Jess. And now trying to turn around with the return aggression. Miracle standing his ground, getting the arrow through. To see just this, look at mind control, just running straight in, heads first. With the iron hey, shell surging oh. forward. They kind of almost baited mind control in there for like a double heal bomb, but... Not wanting to hold their ground. They might just Kuro. find yeah. yeah, Kuro here. So yeah, gusted it up. One more touch will do, but gets himself out to the right. Nice control in from Jared holding the back. Kuro, he's going to live, and it might be the side of Liquidy Fine first, but they will. They'll take down Fly. And at the same time, look chasing down for more, looking for crit. And also, I know they've also lost the point down on the bottom lane. The Ferret Fires keep in my control alert. They're gonna do it. They get three on the top lane. Julie's a second in return there as Dazzle comes through and picks up Mind Control. We'll see if they can clean up Jarex as well. Miracle looking to chase. Uh, they don't quite have the, the kind of the control to deal with this. So a lot of action going up top. And the fact that that bottom lane, I think the Tumor Man ended up killing up the faces void. Yeah, it looks like just having that orb of venom for with the Ursh, early Earth Shock slow getting him a yeah. kill. Now that was before he even had the boots, I believe, getting that kill. So Moon to a poor start with just four CS and Ursa. 13 CS and a kill now over him. Very much not the start OG had in mind with these lanes, and just a great decision from Liquid to do this offensive try lane, sending the twos with the Dark Seer of all heroes, and able to put a lot of pressure onto the OG side. And we can see in the mid lane as well. It's going to roll up. Oh, let's see if they can finish this one off a little bit cleaner. Last time Liquid did lose a couple off the back of this. Has to walk in a nice magic missile to stop. The last advance of fly coming through. Here's the turnaround. Can they make the side of Liquid pay for what they've done? No. Nice surge onto Jarrett's getting him out of there. Chris just level one is the problem. If he has Sunray or something there, it's a, a counter kill on Earth Spirit, but with the pulls and with the pressure that Liquid's applying, like OG is not getting far more levels on the heroes in the top lane. And there's no it's not like either of their cores can rotate in. DK at level six doesn't even really want to roam around unless he gets like a hate screen up top. We're not gonna see him move around. Moon as a faceless void doesn't rotate well, so. Very much, he just has to live with what they've got at this top lane. And we can see now, coming down towards the top room. Uh, not going to be able to do anything about my control picking that one up, but it really is that the, the, you just this bottom lane, you know, Matsuma Man, this wave, he's nearly going to be level six against Moon, who's only just reached onto level four. The, the difference between these two heroes in this 1v1 has, has been absolutely brilliant here for Matsuma Man. He's played this lane perfectly. Oh, absolutely, and that's the other thing. Like, you talk about the course, I'm unable to rotate. These two yeah. kind of defensive supports don't rotate either. Void hits level six. You can't easily bring someone like a Dazzle or a Phoenix. Perhaps Phoenix TPs. I think that's almost got to be the play here for OG is get Void level six, TP Phoenix down bottom, and go for the kill on Matumba Man. But even that's very big ass when he's got Enrage. With a smoke, they could trying to get themselves in position. 
behind the tree line. Maybe looking to dive in onto Fly. Here we go with the roll forward. Dazzle straight away. Nice silence onto two. The kick as well. Now find one. Can they get Miracle as well here? Being surged up. Like the Ice Shell damage doing it as well. Sticking through the Drow Ranger. They'll look for Miracle. He's going to try to keep himself alive on the heal. Is it going to work? Double kill for Mind Control. Tower hits. They're going to have to toggle these over. Try and keep themselves alive here. It's a nice disengage as well. Mind Control TP's out. That time, the side of Liquid finding themselves two kills and losing nothing in return. Well, that's that's why you first pick Earth Spirit. Jerex's initiation is getting the stun into the silence combo while he's rolling. Dazzle doesn't get a single spell off as he goes down, so it's great aggression coming out from that top lane. And it means fast, not just the 1v1 at bottom, but Fast has had a pure 1v1 mid against the Dragonite, where he's just free farming away. They're even on CS, but this is very favorable for an Alchemist who's maxing Grievous Greed, going straight into the armlet. The soul ring up already. Just getting all the farm in the world that he needs. Didn't even commit to the bottle, which is kind of sick. No coming in very deep, and the control's going to be there underneath the tower. No tail coming far too close for his own good, and Liquid punish it. And Jerax getting the two hero silence off. Not just silencing the Dragon Knight, preventing any stuns, but silencing a fly as well, who was sitting behind looking to grave the Dragon Knight there to save him. Uh, very impressive Earth. Sort and of this place. is the thing as well. We saw Jerax having an amazing game pretty much in game one even though they didn't have a good start obviously they didn't end up winning but still the earth spirit performance was yeah it was always there he was always in the right place at the right time this time we're going to see what he's able to do in a game where he has a great start you know halfway through level four at six minutes in he's zero one six this is this is an ideal start for an earth spirit see dd room picked up from the tum man and the possibility of aggression off of this may be his downfall because two heroes have smoked his way yeah. and the Chronosphere is ready for Moon. They do need to punish this Ursa. He really has been having a great time on his own down here against the Void. And they're sending in another hero as well. Yeah. Everyone coming down in Miracle as well. He's, he's, they scanned them. He scanned oh, that behind. scan. He knows oh. exactly what is coming his way. And they're investing so much in trying to find this kill. Yep. It's a ward though. Is he going to poke his head up too far here? They've Ooh. seen him make this rotation. Number man. He's, he's out. Sneak he is out. Wait, he's not going ferocious. He's is he? putting a ward up. Okay, nah, that's all. Yeah. He's snuck by. Got a ward up. I mean, the fact that yeah, that whole rotation is wasted is absolutely huge. You can see the side of OG scanning the jungle, trying to find somebody, but they need to have no tail in the mid lane. Liquid coming in hard, and they'll take him down. The DK is gone. Yep. And this game, eight for two. Liquid having an absolutely impeccable opening across the map. And Mama Superman is going to start the fight. Move the silence the wall. My goodness, Jera! What a god! Setting that up there to Matsuma can take it down. There's no time, no nothing. Beautiful silences from Jerax. He's moaning. That, the, the awareness, the, the, he's always there to make sure the team gets away with what they need. But that, that's a rotation from OG towards yeah. the bottom lane that accomplishes nothing. All three lanes being dominated by Liquid right now. 5.2k net worth on Alchemist. The highest on the dire side is not even 2.6k. OG are getting pummeled here in game number two, and we're just eight minutes in, and it's about an 8k gold lead. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, a lot of this down to the Alchemist, but, but still, nonetheless, this is a great start for an Alchemist. We don't always see the Alchemist being as far ahead, ahead as he is at this stage of a game. And he's got stacks to yeah. fall back to, so he's just going to rotate himself into the jungle, farm up some double stacks, and be on his merry way. There's nothing OG can even do to pressure him. This is... This is how you punish a Drow Ranger strat, just beat it in the laning stage. Drow not really strong laning here, has hit level 6 now, but even Dark so, light. there's nothing OG can really do to team fight. Phoenix is just level 3. Everything has just gone wrong that could go wrong. And for OG, they've just got to kind of find some pickoffs here or there to give them some of that juicy comeback gold. Yeah, ideally just, you know, trying to utilize this Chrono from Moon to set something up, but... You can't, like, that's what they were trying to do bottom, and that's the yeah. thing, like, that's their, they, they that's their way back to the game. They heroes down there, and I, they end up losing the void and, and wasting a lot of time for the team. Yeah. Right. We're getting a bit of trouble here. All it requires is Jerax to hit his spells. And pop. Would there really any question if he was going to miss them? Absolutely, once again. It's a spirit. The angles are brilliant. Placement is perfect. And now Mask of Man is on the coming man, so... Easy access to Roche, but more importantly, easy access to just amplifying up the aggression coming out from the side of Team Liquid. They're going to just take this mid T1 tower, it looks like, for no contest. Bottom lane OG, also going to push onto the bottom, trying to find something in trade. The yeah, tower of Liquid certainly being shown here in this opening. 
Rocket's really remarkable. Coming so. down with an acid, and that could be enough to hold on to this tier one tower. They'll see the alchemist behind the tower, though, so he's going to be a little bit careful. I mean, they can certainly here. defend this, if they, if they, as we can see. Just yep. the push isn't strong enough from OG at this stage of the game to just take a tier one like that. Even with the amount of space they were given, uh, they lose a tier one mid. They aren't able to find a trade. And as you said, the Alk just coming in to farm up the lane. Spider keeping himself at the top of the board. 7.5k net worth. He's double that of the DK at only just 10 minutes. That, that's the thing as well, that he's managed to create this lead so early on in the game. Oh, Jerax again. When has this man not been making the plays this game? Every second, every minute. Been setting up for the team. I mean, this this certainly is uh, is going to be one of those games that Jerax is uh, going to be putting on his highlight reel. One one nine involved in ten of the eleven kills. The only one he wasn't was that solo kill bottom by the Ursa. So. Which, which I mean, I don't <laughs> think even uh, the Tumorman expected that to happen. You yeah. know what I mean? But everything that should have happened has thanks to this Earth Spirit, Jerax. I mean, it kind of begs to see if, they, if this continues like this and OG aren't able to pull it back if, if we see them take it away in, in the last game, the deciding match. Because at the moment, Liquid are certainly pushing it that way here. Really, really strong stuff. I mean, if you're OG now at this point, we know Miracle, he is kind of the king of the combat. But on a Drow Ranger, it's that's, it's not really a Miracle Hero to do it on. Yeah, especially when you're this far behind. That's on a comeback hero on no. any player, and that's the big issue here. They, they, their way back into this game is going to be from finding those kills, using the Chronosphere plus Sunray. I uh, was seeing Void go for a very defensive build, maxing out the time walk, no points in bashes. Look at this net lead. I mean, I, I, there is an Alchemist, but still, it and just looks so scary. 12k lead. Anytime you're getting like a 1,000 net worth a minute advantage. Oh, say goodnight. <laughs> Yep. Farewell, sweet prince. Two points in the stun, enough to get that kill, and that's Radiance money. Radiance of 12-minute armlet Radiance. We get the Sovereign, but... I mean, how do you... How do they stop this Alchemist? I don't At this think they point, can. I they think they have to prioritize getting kills on other heroes and just accept the fact that this Alchemist is going to power farm and be a huge nuisance later on, because you have got percent base damage coming out of the Sunray. You've got the Chronosphere, so... For OG, it's... Find pickoffs wherever we can on like viable. Targets. Like this Darkseer is spending a lot of time up top. I, 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 going for smoke kill on Darkseer, while not the biggest kill to get, is better than nothing. And then oh, oh, we're going to get in this scenario where OG's back the same to come from the high ground defense. Yeah, they've still got T1 and T2 towers up, but they're so far behind on uh, There's going to be an Aegis on the Ursa, most likely because it's an Ursa. He takes row of these. OG is going to be all about the high ground defense this game at some point. And even no tell, he's picked up a glove that hates. I guess he's not going by I'm gonna build. He's just incredibly poor. Every this dire side just has no farm whatsoever to work with. Yeah, I, I think just really looking at Jarex, I mean, uh, his activity has caused him to be at a stage of the game where he's only a few hundred goals behind Miracle and no tell. No tell finds mind control, but there's zero follow up for this, and PP already coming from Fata's Alchemist. See what Liquid can set up here. They're ready to go crit. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There's a Chronosphere buying some time here for the Phoenix. He'll get the Supernova out, maybe OG. Grokey, swap him a Tumberman away. Grokey will with his life. Does manage to save the Ursa there though. Yeah, good. very wise from Chris. Registered. I have a turn. Miracle. He is having a great time here. He really. Liquid beating down hard off the side into the man. That's to the sideline. They'll loop down. Try and box the boat. to try stand check and get him a set. Jarek to Mike Jobber. Maybe could be Liquid by. Shoot, they're going to push one. They may lose as well. They'll roll himself back, but he should tick that 8 H bitch. Follow him so Liquid, maybe just getting a little overzealous there, feeling a little bit confident, and, and OG are quick to shoot them down there. Yeah, I mean, so you think... like the, the fly back in OG, they need a lot more where that came from. But Alchemist, who is just farming out of control for them to deal with later on, but... Kills will start to add up if OG can find a few more. Gonna be going for the Minus again on the Phoenix. Wouldn't be surprised if he... Like, at this point, you're, you're way in this game is a super game, so if anything, like, getting multiple minuses may even be the name of the game for him, but... Oh, crit. I hope you enjoyed that, Samurai, because it's going to be your last. 
I mean, the, just the, the money that Farter's getting as the Alchemist. He, this is the thing as well. He's been farming absolutely ridiculously, and he's also been finding the kills. He's what, 3 0 2 on an Alchemist at 14 minutes in. This is. I, yeah, this has got to be one of the Alchemist at least I've seen in a long time in competitive. He's just had such a clean start, and OG have been able to do nothing about it. <laughs> Now the top of Mantle will just secure his team Roaches. We'll get him Blink Dagger money as well, and the Blink is going to be even more sadness coming Miracle Day, most likely, following that. Yeah, they're they're going to they're gonna try and bomb. Team with the Weave. Oh, Silence so for Jax. Now onto the sideline with some of the man. Looking to find a jump, and they're going to need to do it soon. A couple more swipes, and that will be gone. Trying to find for the second move. Oh. Comes in off, and he's stealing. Move, 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 no! It's going to go down to the radiant. It just is on the floor, but no, still Ernst is able to grab it. They're not able to get themselves in and take it away on the sidelines. They did manage to find the outcome of skills. They will take down the as well, but now Tumor Man turning up with Jarrett. They're going to look to try and clean these boys up. At the moment, OG looking fairly strong here. See if they can chase this down, though. Fly and Miracle running back towards their base. No, they make it. Time to make We can't. Done, OG. They do find a very high value kill on the yeah, Amis, picking up Kroki as well as uh, but they do still not get the chance to take away that Aegis from Liquid, and Roshan still goes down to the bear. I had 3,000 gold swing just off yeah. of an Alk bench kill. I mean, this is, as you said, as long as they can do this, they can certainly swing their way back in, but they need to do a lot of swinging. Yeah. Still at a, what, a 10k lead at 16 minutes. And Miracle's stacked up a lot of Ancients here, so he's farming all right. Will hit level 11 fairly soon. Has crit kind of there just to back him up. I mean, what what, what is game plan now for OG? Are, are you just kind of waiting for Liquid to come to you? I mean, can they to do anything themselves in terms of aggressive? Do they just fight around kind of Moon's Chronospheres? Fight around, pick up, look yeah. for a hero to up farming by themselves. Like a hero like Alchemist is Liquid aren't going to necessarily fight man like an elk doesn't want to be grouping up with his team he wants to be on one side of the map farming while his team is kind of pushing towers elsewhere and he can tp in should a fight break out so for og it's kind of evaluating the map like they want to get up as much vision so they can route heroes to buy themselves and go for those pickoffs for liquid it's like don't let g get chain kills together kuro needs to be behind like the high value targets and block we saw a problem with the Ursa, and in theory, you just need to be making sure you, you play as polished as possible moving forward. So, OG may just smoke again soon. They're close to a Shadow Blade, it looks like, on Dragonite. He's picked, oh, he's got the amulet at least. That's going to give them an initiation to find those pickoffs. Yeah, I mean, this seems to be a, a very, very common build here for DK now, doesn't it? It's this armlet in the Shadow Blade. Yeah. As, it seems to be as well. We're seeing more DKs do that rather than the armor into Blink. Man of this as well. I mean, yeah, I guess it depends did on... the Blink last game. But... Yes, he did. Yeah, that's right. Um, I think for no tell we've seen mostly the Shadow Blade. Wait, no, no, he got up. Silver Age last game. Yeah, he, he got it after the Blink. Oh, though. yeah, he got he, both, he didn't got he? Both. he? did get both in the end. Drunk. Moon. That's the Chronosphere back up. See if uh, he find the option to set up anything around here. And Kuro's just solo coming and pushing. It's, like, <laughs> it's the pilot I play where it's like, you're bought, so it's not really worth investing ultis to kill Kuro. And you also no. don't know if he's got heroes behind him. He could be, he might not. It's not worth risking to kill a low priority kill on something that could backfire. If that's an out, you maybe go for it because you kill him, it's worth it. It's worth the risk. But Now, this is something a little bit different Vanguard on Jarek's Earthspirit. Okay, this is the, to gear up for, towards the high ground push. Having a Crimson Guard is going to be a really useful item against the physical damage coming out from Drove, D and Void. And it's not like there's good items you can get to fight against like the Chronosphere Sunray. Sunray being pure damage and all. And I, I guess this is one of the things as well as we saw in, in game one. And Jarex can do a lot without items. That basically he just needs to keep himself alive. And that Vanguard could just be that sustainability that he needs to... You know, if he gets clipped on the side of a Chronosphere, just yeah, having that extra bit of damage block to deal with, as you said, the, the right clicks of OG. Liquid, though, give him the push. I'm able to get the final tower, but nonetheless, tower take all money into the, into the pockets of the boys on the Radiant. Yep. OG are just in the bottom, utilizing the safe in the Radiant jungle. Hoping that a hero comes down here to perhaps farm that they can pick off, but nothing is presenting itself right now. They. Smoke from Liquid looking to reclaim their own jungle. I think recognizing the situation that OG uh, 
making a bit too much farm out of it. Yeah, eyes on Tamoon, swapped into the silence and he's kind of got the blocks done to control him and yeah, they could take him down. Actually dropping the wall, a little bit scared he might get the chance to time walk out. But uh, that, oh, a plus for the side of OG is wall down. Still, Liquid, they're going to look to try and fight again, try and take another bit if they can get it off. As uh, they want to try and remove the tier 2 in the mid lane. Maybe uh, also look for the tier 1 uh, that's still standing on the bottom. That lane is being f***ed out at the moment by the side of OG. The graph, you know, the, the fact that Alchemist has continued to get his flow back on. Uh, they have managed to regain a little bit of a dip that OG caused them to have. Yeah, doing things slowly. Oh, crit bottom lane gets caught out trying to TP home. Oh, but I mean, we saw the start just radius. Mamadouji got it in. Yeah. And now no Phoenix Sunray for the high ground defense. This yeah. makes life very difficult. And with the swap onto Blood, they can start to get the picks. He does get the Grave on. I started to retreat, but now they could then just bring a bit in the middle of that going to work. They'll take them both down. Now it's Miracle Moon left alive. The running top is only going to catch onto one. They do get the Ghost Dogs of Butter Butter trying to get him up away from this, but he's not going to survive. That's a big kill here, but in return, they jumping back into Jerry with the Bottom Magic onto Miracle. The Silence won't catch him. The Claws on there will do, though, and they'll find themselves a double kill. But look for that. Uh, sorry, for Mind Control, in fact, with the Iron Shell. I mean, this is this is OG Crossley. Yep. You're looking at the base being pressured at 20 minutes in. They're going to be able to find the melee right from the look of it. Doesn't feel like 20 minutes. You click the Alchemist style first. They'll get the job done. Take a lane of next year and OG really in dire straight. The, the, the gold deficit gets even bigger. Fun has to fly back. Couldn't actually get the armlet toggle off. The two right clickers in the throw and, and the void hitting him. But ultimately. And I think, not something that's I matter. think at this point as well, you, you look back at the drift, and, and as we were saying, you do wonder maybe that fifth fan on the Huskar from Liquid really has done it here. Did was what OG were after? The Huskar does think they to clean up in return, but as we're seeing here, you know, Miracle is being brave, but it may not just save him. That's beautiful. But the combination for Jared's coming in, forcing OG back, but Tumor Man jumps forward. We have to get a lockdown, has to back up now himself. Still, they're all down around the wall, speed drop in the midst of three of them, Tell trying to finish off the bear, he's not going to quite make it the best, turns around, takes no tail down, the will is with Tumma Man, they'll go for a supernova here, Liquid, they'll move in, they'll start to punch, they should be able to take down the other, they do, they'll take down Supernova, Mind Control taken down in return, double kill for Miracle, he is holding, and the Terra on to Moon, they'll swap him down to low ground, Magic Missile, very nice, he's done it on to Miracle, still the chance for me to time warp back up, the Illusion's coming in, burning down Miracle here with the Radiance, Miracle being forced back will still survive. But the buyback from the crit on his Phoenix, they will actually hold the high ground against Liquid, but they're really having to give it everything to just slow down the aggression of Liquid, who are not scared to die behind those tier threes. But yeah. it is a bit it's a big defense. And even with that buyback, as we can see, it does pay off for OG. They're still just so far behind. The deficit is just getting massive right now. And this is Alchemist is going to just power farm, continue to accelerate his item progression, has a couple of item slots to work with. Crimson Guard Crimson now picked Guard, up. Crimson Guard, yes. Now that's balance. Well, progression sometime in the next three minutes as well. So. Very likely we see Liquid just go for that next high ground push around Roshan. If anything, I think OG have to try and contest it because of how far behind they are and how almost certain this game would be lost. One lane as well. Now ready to go. Fight it. Has been caught out. But look at the move. Oh! Matumba man. Absolutely destroying Moon. They're moving on to No Tail as well. He's a little bit tankier and he will manage to stay alive for the time being. Flight is coming to back him up with the heel. But he's already had to use the grave on Samira to call to keep this drought alive. So DK's going to go down. Mind Control jumping in. Looking to chase down for more. The stun holding fly on the sidelines. Crit is going to fall. It's a double kill for Fighter. They should be able to find fly as well and they do triple kill for the alchemist four dead miracle does get himself out of there and this is all whilst the tier one still standing gg is cool we saw liquid tap out and respect to og's play in the last game but this time i mean OG, they've got to respect how well liquid played this what a performance 26 to 11 24 minutes in OG, they just never had the chance to get the lineup off the ground liquid were just right in their faces every single time and I really think it goes back to just the start that Jarex was able to give the team. Yeah, that it, performance on our spirit. Absolutely. Hands down MVP, yeah. no question about it. Liquid won. They won.